review. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Power, power came hey. through in the clutch. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I was kind of confused when we yeah. first started because I was uh, like, is this deja vu? Because I've seen all this before. And then halfway through the middle, I kind of figured out what the hell yeah, was going they, on. They, they pulled an empire on they us. They did right? pull an empire. Yeah. And as much skit as y'all talk, Courtney, why'd y'all do that? <laughs> but anyway, so I guess every episode we're going to see the episodes play out from someone else's perspective. Yeah. Leading up to who really did shoot ghosts. Exactly. So... The name of the episode was still Dre. My husband's gonna take it away. I'm gonna interject how I see fit. Yeah. And I know y'all glad we back, cause I'm glad too. Yeah, be back. Be back. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. Uh, first of all, before we get started, Happy New Year. Y'all already did the Happy New Year's on Instagram, some on YouTube. But officially, since we back with power on the fifth of this month, New Year 2020, welcome back, y'all. <laughs> love y'all, man. And again, appreciate all the love for the Series Seven. Uh, we passed that now, but I'm still celebrating. Like I told y'all. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's getting old now. <laughs> yeah, so freaking Power Season 6, Episode 11. Uh, we got five episodes to go. I was telling my wife. Five or four? Well, four after the night, but it's five episodes total. All right. Yeah. Because you know somebody's going to get in that comments and they're going to have like, a whole nah, uh, I'm like, nah, we got four more episodes left. Yeah, after this one right here. Yeah. Um, But we already knew starting back off tonight, they wasn't going to let us know who killed Ghost that quick. You know, they're going to push that thing on as far as they can get. We probably won't find but, out until about the third or fourth um, episode. They bust my bubble right off the bat because I said it was a dream sequence. Yeah. Not unless they bucking with all of us. It still could be. It's, yeah. You know. So we start the episode with all... Dre is in the uh, protective custody once again, but this time his girlfriend and of course Heaven is there as well. And his girlfriend's, you know, they got the good sense. Like, you know what? We done been through all this skit and um, you got pretty much got away again. We need to move. I was like, exactly. So about time somebody decided to take this yeah. skit and move out the hood. So he was like, no, I am not moving to London. I was like, oh, she from London? Oh. I was like, or is it just to know that? <laughs> yeah. Or is it just the forty-year-old brain where I just don't recall all of that? But I was like, oh, okay. I, I don't know. But she was like, no, I'm not trying to move back to London. I'm trying to move to Vegas with my sister. Matter of fact, she got a good job. She got a nice size house. They got a pool and everything. You know, you know how we do it. You know, a family member got, you know, got it going on. We just feel like we just can move on in and do what we want. But mm -hmm. anyway, but she was like, we can move to Vegas. He was like, no. We fit in our own New York, but you want to go down to freaking Vegas and rent and we can own New York. And she was like, uh, I'd rather rent in Vegas than buy a casket here in New York. Yeah. Uh-huh. I said, yep, that's right. That's right. And the way that Dre said that he loved his daughter, you would think that he would have been on the up and up like, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Because he's still thinking that sex got his back. Nobody trusts sex. So, mm -hmm. while they having this conversation going on, guess what pops up on the TV? Ghost has left the Tate campaign, and now he with the Walsh campaign. And he like, what the hell is so going this on? This was not a part of yeah, the plan. Exactly, because Ghost was supposed to have been in handcuffs, according to Sachs. But no, nah, we can't trust Sachs. So, he rushed over there. Confront Saxon, but like, wait a minute, Ghost, I thought you would take care of him. Now I see him on TV saying he running for the uh, lieutenant governor with Walsh. And Sax was like, bullshit. Bullshit. Nah, nah. And then he was like, all right, not as bad as it seems. We're going to take care of it. How many times are we going to hear this? Yeah. I mean, but they've been taking care of Ghost says Forever and ever. Yeah. yeah, ever and ever. They just can't get him. Well, somebody got him. Somebody we just, got we him. just don't. We just don't know who get who got him yet. Like on Rick and Smiley, family got him. <laughs> so we see uh, Dre talking to his fellas, um, his little his new crew uh, that don't trust him. That he been promised them products forever. And I'm like, why would you promise somebody something that you don't have in your hands yet? And they hungry. Yeah, They're ready to eat. Because he was because he was basing this off of all of uh, being um, connected with, with Jason. Jason. Yeah, which Jason is dead, so yeah. you can't collect no product from him. But I still think they going in reverse. I guess at that point, I guess Jason won't do it yet. I don't know. Yeah, he uh, was because they don't want we see that the guys remember they had that exchange, 
and they was like, so you killed my mans. So that was Jason's yeah. them people. Yeah, when the Serbs showed up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So that happened. The yeah. Serbs showed up while, while he trying to get straight because it looked like they were about ready to bust a cap of him right there. So the Serbs showed up because he was like, I don't trust them Serb jokers no more. So they showed up. On uh, cue. On cue. It was a shootout. All his men got shot. All up. So now he running back home now. <laughs> his girlfriend said, you left home and you come back with a big old hole in your home. <laughs> said, so it's time. It's time to move. She said, 12 more inches, you be a dead ninja. <laughs> True. Exactly. Hmm. So uh, he was like, yeah. Yeah, we getting out of here. You know, the heat is up too much. You should listen to her when she said it the first time hmm. and get up out of there. But if you decide you want to stay with well, now, you got all shot up. And you have no crew. No crew. Because the Serbs killed all your men. Yep. Uh, except for one, right? No, he killed them all. He killed them too. The last one, he used that. He used him as a shield, you remember? He sure did. But I had to turn away because they have gotten so graphic on mm -hmm. this show that I'm like, if I watch everybody that they kill, I'm going to be in therapy. Yep. Because it's so goddamn graphic. I don't know about y'all. I don't know if y'all can watch that. But literally, I'm like, the Because I can't do it. So... His girlfriend was like, pretty much, hey, you've been running these streets. She didn't say this act this, but let me translate what she was saying when she said, then you got the money. You've been running these streets. You're supposed to be hot. <laughs> you're supposed to be big pimping. You're supposed to be big balling. How much money we got so we can get up out of here? He ain't got none. Like, come on, bro. So she was like, you came here, shot up. <laughs> Is that, we're not supposed to do with that. Not nah, so she said, you gonna have to go where you don't wanna go. He was like, I ain't trying to go back there. So in my mind, I was thinking, he gonna go ask to ghosts, ghost. ask ghosts for some money. Nah. Mm -mm. He rolled up on this lady at church. I was like, who is this lady I at said, church? You already <laughs> killed the priest. So what yeah. we not gonna do is yeah. go down down on the church line here and mess with the old lady. Yeah. It, 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 it won't as it seems. It was his god darn mama. I had we ever been introduced to her before? Oh, they, just all throw, assume, oh, they just throwing it at us now. We all assume that all of them are pretty much, they don't have no mamas except for Kate. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But but anyway, so he rose up on her, hadn't talked to her in years. Typical black folk. He ain't talked to her in years. And asked her for some money. She was like, oh, hell no. Yeah. She said, every time you come around me, you always lie. Because she told him, because he come and tell her, Mom, I'm trying to get my life together now, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm I'm trying to move to Vegas. I got a daughter. She was like, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> she was like, no. You I lying. None of that. <laughs> I don't believe it all. You know, told me a bullshit story about a daughter? Yeah. A daughter I ain't never met. I said, hold on, Drew. It's hold like, on. what? We out here having whole kids that your mama don't even know about? Yeah. <laughs> really? So did we get it later on? We get it. Yeah, but while we while, while we on the mama part, so he decides. I won't want to talk about why we on the mom. So she turned him down. You ain't getting another dime from me. You know, maybe he started dancing like a what you call it. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. You know what? Do, do it. Because I'm a ick, 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 crackhead. <laughs> that's what he that's what he should have did. Should have. So he might have got a few dollars out of him. So late in the episode, we see him She had no money, she just tired. She yeah. gave all the money to the church. Exactly. So we see later in the episodes while we on Mama, he breaks it, not necessarily break. He go and find, you know, get the key that they have stored so he can get in the house. Mm -hmm. So he got in the house and he go first for her jewelry. And as soon as he turned around, she got a gun in his face. I said, that's Dre Mama. Yep. That's where he get it from. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So she, she go on her spill again. You lying. You know, you evil. You wicked. And da 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 And... Dre ends up, you know, giving his little spill like he his little sad face, you know, that the the face that gets the models. <laughs> it worked. Yeah. But uh it, it got her to the point where she ain't pulling the trigger. So it got her to the point where he got to and got the gun from her. And then he goes on and we find out the truth. That's it. Why mama was not in his life. So come to find out he grew up in the church. And so, since he was knee high to a goddamn grasshopper, his mama called him evil, wicked, he a demon, he a demon seed. Matter of fact, he the devil himself. And he said, this all stemmed from me stealing a candy bar mm -hmm. from a lady's house. Not yep. even a store. From the lady's house. Yep. 
when I was six years old, and since I was six, you've been calling me a demon. Yep. And he was like, oh, that's you. <laughs> I was like, is that <laughs> And he was like, ever since then, I have become what, what you, you have spoken of. Mm -hmm. And I said, dang. Yep. So Dre is literally a product of what his mama had said, but the Bible said, what? So was the man thinking? So was he? Yep. And there's power in the tongue. All that good stuff. All oh, that's good stuff. I said, Cordell, you've been going to church doing this song, or you coming back with some good old revelation for our yeah. lives? That was good to yeah, know, though. That was good. So that's what he said. That's why I have never, ever introduced you to my daughter, because you ain't fitting to tell her that she a demon. Yeah, you gonna mess her up like you messed me up. Yep. And he said, and I named her the purest thing on earth. Mm hmm Heaven. A place that me and you ain't never, never gonna, gonna go. I said, <laughs> I said what? What the hell, Drake? Your mama just left the church and you say she ain't even going. Yup. So I thought he was gonna kill his mama though. Yeah, so when he got the gun from me and pointed, I was like, Dre, Don't I know me. you about that life, but now what's your mama, mama though? <laughs> I said, Tommy ain't even killed his mama. Don't you dare kill yeah, your mama. Yeah, don't kill your mama. Don't and kill Kate been me. asking for it. <laughs> don't, 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 don't kill your mama. So, now, he's running all around New York with a, like a chicken with his head cut off trying to find this money so they can get up out of Dodge. So, he first go pay Tasha a visit. After his mama, he go pay Tasha a visit and threaten her. Be like, hey, if you don't give me no change, I'm going to freaking turn into Rick. But like, this time, I don't even care. <laughs> Turn into Reed, God darn it. Yeah, I mean, he's the least of my problems. <laughs> but of course, Tasha don't, don't don't think like that. So he leave Tasha, then he go to Ghost. Uh, but first, he needed to get to Reed. So she he uh told yeah. Tasha, you need to t tell Tariq he need to meet me, so I can go over to Ghost. And so he get to Reed, go over to Ghost. So he, but Ghost was really quick, which I knew was bulls get mm -hmm. was real quick to tell him I will pay you two hundred fifty bands so you can disappear. But yes. but this is one scene that we had already saw before. Because that's when we got confused. We was like, didn't we see this before? So now we're going the long road home with yeah. everything now. So yeah, we, I, yeah, we're coming back and so we can go forward. We've been, you know, counterpoted back so we can be shot forward. Whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they should have paged me and told me. So him and Tariq in office, he sent Tariq out. He told Mom to pay 250 bands. Um, and Dre was like, I'm going to stay right here and wait on it. He was like, no, nah, I need an hour. And so I was like, Dre, you know good and well, Ghost ain't going to set that up to give you $250,000 that easy, bro, just uh -huh. to disappear. So he he, he, ended, he strolling in, after he strolled in the park talking, you know, I get, we get $250,000. You know how we start bragging. You know, he ain't even got it. We get two. Hey, fans come roll up and pick his tail right on up. Come on now, Dre. Huh? I said, okay. Yeah. This is what we so, Fez come, so he get locked up. Um, by this time. He had seen that, and I was like, okay, that's what we really yeah. started putting the pieces together. I said, okay, so now we're seeing everything play out from the last episode, um, and we're seeing it yeah. in Dre's, from Dre's perspective, exactly. and how things played out for him. So, he get in there, so we know that, you remember last season, well, not last season, but when we went off, uh, Too Big and Spanky is in jail. Because the warehouse freaking bust. But I'm sorry, it's not too big. <laughs> it's spanking. It's freak it's it's Francis Johnson and Spotwood Richards. <laughs> they needed some street names because you show up like that. Francis? Francis? Spotwood? I I man, I ain't even what was the movie that we said? I wouldn't even wrote no skit down like that in the guest list. What was that Friday? <laughs> no, that was um <laughs> They got doing stupid movie with uh, Soul Plane. Yeah, so he said, I wouldn't even rope down no skit like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dre's in prison, so 2 Bit and Spanky, they've been interviewed by, uh, what's her name? Um, Blanca. Blanca. And it's going good. Neither one of them is flipping. You know, they remain in G's. I'm not a snitch, because snitch, uh, 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 snitches get stitches. Huh. I'm holding, and... Blanca kept talking and talking about them years and telling um, uh, Spanky how you going to be passed around. Because <laughs> you little. Because you little. That's going to pass your tail around. And he was like, yeah. well, you know, I know something on that footage. It punch your murder. It's like, God, don't it. And it began. She done got you. 
So she good at her job. Yeah, she good. good. Yeah, she good. Yeah, cause that that might would have got me too. <laughs> Say his name is Ghost. He, he he over there. Go pick him up so I can get out of here. Yeah. So we see them back in the stall, and they get moved. They get transferred. Uh huh. Uh, they get transferred. They're trying to figure out what the hell. This guy come out, get him a burner phone. The phone rings. Guess who? Ghost. So Ghost tells them, hey, look, I'm going to make sure your family taken care of and uh, 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 got done Spotwood family you <laughs> can take care of, too. All I need you to do is take out drink. He in there with y'all when you take him out. And he was like, oh, he was like, oh, this dude got some juice. Yeah, he got some, yeah. yeah. And he said the guard going to take care of anything that y'all need, so don't even yep, worry about don't it. Don't even worry about it. Say, well, there it goes. So... They spot Dre out to take him out. They was handing out knives. I guess they call themselves being discreet. But I'm like, everybody could see, see them yeah. handing that knife around. I said, okay. So, oh, Lord, what happened after that? Um, did Dr Dre got yeah. called in with Blanca? Yeah. yeah, he got called in. Yeah. So he got called in with Blanca. Yeah. Because yeah, I, like, I, 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 I was ready to talk about the other part because he, because you know, he's he, he he been times. in it two times. So, yeah. So he get to talking to Blanca and y'all seen it. Uh, she was like, pretty much coerced him to say that he saw a ghost uh, kill Terry Silva to get out of there so he can get out of there today. Hmm. So that's how he ended up getting out. And but we just saw that. We saw that already. But we got, yeah, we already saw it. But we got pissed off that wherever the feds were taking him to, I don't even know what they were taking him to, but he acted like he had to take a pass. Yeah, so we'll be taking him into um, protective custody. Yeah. To, to a to safe wherever. house. Yeah, and so they let him do that. I know in real life, no, we going straight to the... To the piss to on the, yourself. Yeah, piss on yourself. So he going to get out, go around the corner, he going to jump over the fence and he going to run. I was like, why? Why? Just go to the safe house, man. And then leave from there. I, 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 unless when you're in there, you can't get out. Dre is no. Yeah, he just, he just, he just He don't. can't do right if you ask him to. He just, he just, yeah, yeah. So, he ended up going to see Councilman Tay Diggs. <laughs> Not Tay Diggs, I said Tay Diggs. <laughs> yeah, like Rashad Tay Diggs. Rashad Tay I always keep on saying Tay Diggs. I don't know why that's stuck Oh, no, because I always call him by his real name. Yeah. But as soon as he walked in the door, he was like, I ain't got, I'm good over here. I don't want nothing to do with you. Matter of fact, I thought he was going to call him a ninja like he did go. I thought he was going to say, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that's my favorite line from him last season. Wait, Ghost asked for that million dollars? Nigga, what? Ninja, what? <laughs> <laughs> he said that thing from his soul. Woo. Nigga, what? So... Dre asks um, Councilman Tate, look, I know you're good for it. You got the juice. You got the pull. I need I need some clean tags and two fresh IDs. And I'll be up out of here. And I'll be up out of here. But I, in exchange for some valuable information. So he gave him the valuable information on what he told him. Uh, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was something about, about seal or whatever. I, I don't know. It don't matter. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> and so... Tay said, I got a better deal for you than that. I give you a hundred bands if you take out ghosts. And so Dre was like, okay. So Tate was like, I'll give you half now and give you the other half with a comeback. So Dre wanna go, you know, get all thug this one on him. And you know, like, I don't work like that. Tate was oh. like, I'm I'm pretty much I'm from the streets. You know, you can't fool me. You can't pump me into giving y'all the money. But you know what? It worked. He gave him the money. And he gave him the place and the IDs. And I was like, he really can run? But Tate did say, I got all the information. I guess he was going to turn him in if he did run. So when he got back in the car, his girlfriend was like, hey, you got the cash. You let's got the go. tag. Let's go. Let's let's roll out. And it was an exchange for him to kill ghosts. Yeah. So he thought about it. And he was like, yeah, let's go. And then his conscience got the best of him. Like, you know what? I got to kill I got to, I got to kill ghosts. So he goes on over to kill ghosts. But in the midst, I guess we catch it back up from last season when he got over to whatever at the at Truth, gunshot pop. So he was like, "Oh, skip, let me get up out of here." So when he ran out of there, Blanca was standing out there. He took it. Wow. He hit. And then I was like, "Why he do that for us? Oh, because he, he ran from them. Yeah, so. he ran. Yeah. So he hit Blanca, jumped back in the car, was gone. Was like, "Oh my god!" But why this fool 
gonna stop at the 7-Eleven. That wasn't no 7-Eleven. That was the sun cup. No. I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the trap house. You gonna stop there to get some funny rings, a shoulder, and a goddamn cheap teddy bear, knowing that you, that that the fans is after you. You should have kept on going straight on to Vegas. You could have got Cross some snacks. Nine. You could have got some snacks in the next day. Matter of fact, if you had to stop, get your girl to get out. Exactly. So he come out there all smiling at her and say, oh, this is going to be the I thought somebody was going to shoot him down. Yeah, me too. And then here come the feds and scoop his tail right on up. Dre done went to jail twice. What seems to be 24 oh, hours. Okay, 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, they take that food back. So, by this time, uh, Two Bit and Spanky, and Spanky they were still trying to figure out because when he got out the first time, because they saw Dre get out, it was like... Ain't no way he got out that fast. He had to snitch. So when they, so when he came back in there, it was like, praise the Lord. This, Lord has this ninja around. is back. <laughs> we gonna get him. This we time. gonna get him this time. So the first thing he did, which was, which was smart, he, was, he, was. he went over there and got that that freaking. It looked like apple sauce or pudding coming. Oh, Dumping oh, the guy he in. Started a fight so he can get put in the hole so he can be protected. So he thought. <laughs> <laughs> so he was sitting up beside the holding cell. And these freaking uh, towels start coming through the little mail slot. That's what I call a little mail slot. That's yeah, where they drop their food off over there. Yeah, y'all y'all seen um what you call it um what's the uh the prison show uh Rick with Rikers Island. Rikers Island. Yeah, where they got to be had them freaking shears because them jokers throw their skit and piss and yeah. throw it through that little mail slot. So that's what I thought about when I saw yeah. it. But they throwing freaking gasoline towels through there now. <laughs> so they throwing towels and he's like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, guess who it is? Francis and Spotwood. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing the towels in there. Oh and Dre like, come on, man. No, you don't just, I got a door. Be like, you ain't think about that when you was in these streets, player. Dang. And they lit that ninja up. <laughs> I said, darn. It'll cremate Drake. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't even, I mean, I really wouldn't even bother by Drake because we've been one Drake. Yeah, I wouldn't bother by it, but I'm like, why he get shot up like everybody else? Yeah. I he, mean, I guess burning alive is worse. But I was like, God. But you was, you expected for some heavy artillery on him like it was on uh, Proctor. Proctor didn't deserve it. Proctor helping out players and got, yeah. And Drake, you just, you just, you just went to hell. Pretty much. <laughs> That's what happened to you. So, so burnt him up. But before, but, but before that, that, yeah, yeah. I was ready, yeah. <laughs> but before that, now, and I'm still kind of confused about this, uh, this scene. I am too. Because before that, he gets a visit from his girlfriend, his, his daughter, and his mama. But. And he was like, of all places, uh, you went to her? Yeah. And I'm like, well, why did she have to go to her? Yeah, because she had the 100 G's. Unless the police took it. I mean, I don't know. And if she from the streets, the streets, she should have had at least a little bit of a stash somewhere Take on the Take one person. of them stacks. Yeah. And stick it down in your drawers or something. Something. So, and so the mama was like, you deserve to be in here. You in the right spot. I'm going to take care of your family while you, while you in here. And Drake already know how that's gonna plan out. Yeah, so but it was almost girl do something. She be a demon. But his mama was almost, almost looking at him like, I, I know you ain't getting out. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was when she said, "I'm gonna take care of your family for you." She was talking like, this "You ain't, yeah, this you ain't fit to see them no more." And which was, which was a hundred percent true. I don't even think they got to the car good. <laughs> they ain't got the car good. He was, he was he got was no up. He was burnt up alive, man. Yep. So of course, like we said, uh. That was pretty much the end of the episode. Uh, what we see at the end, uh, Spotwood, <laughs> yeah, was being processed out because he snitched. Yeah, and so by this time, uh, Francis Francis got up the next morning looking for him. <laughs> and his star, and his it's cell was empty. Gone. Cot gone. Yep, and so he ended up calling. I think he called Ghost on. The, I guess Ghost on the. I don't know. Somebody on the burner phone. I don't know. It don't even matter. It was like, he gone. So he, your, your snitch yeah. is on the outside. Now. He on the outside. I said, God, don't. <clears throat> but how about this? Timing. Because we really ain't talking about timing. But when the shooting happened over there at Truth, 
Dre spotted Tommy on the corner. Yeah. I said, okay, that's going to come into play a little later. Yeah. But how about Tommy, when Francis called him from the jail from the burn phone to try to get some help about the situation going on, he pretty much was like, dude, I got a whole lot of people I'm in line to kill. Yeah. I ain't got time for all this foolishness. I, maybe it was Grimace that turned this. It was like, Grimace dead. He did. He said, Grimace what? dead? That's why right. Dre shot him. He was, you didn't even know your man's Grim was dead? <clears throat> nope. Come on now. I said, it's a lot going on in these streets, man. But so yeah, this, I mean this was an alright episode. It's all right. it, it was it was laid back on pressing coming out the gate. So they're gonna have to turn this fire up even more. I'm ready for power to be over. It so, has truly run its course. So we're gonna we're gonna say this right here so we know that Dre didn't kill Ghost. No. Because he did. Blanca didn't, didn't kill it, Ghost. But she was headed in. And we're thinking about X and all Tommy because Tommy was on the outside when, when Dre was running. No, Dre had already yeah, got that's in the right, car. That's right, that's right. So yeah. he had time enough to be standing on that corner looking yeah. crazy. So we only get eliminated right now, Dre and, and Blanca. Because they say we still got six more, um, six more suspects. So I guess that's Tasha, Tariq. Tasha, Tariq, Tommy. Tommy. Sax. Sax. Tate. Yep, Tate. Who the hell is the sixth one? Who the sixth one, y'all? Yeah, who I don't yeah, so I don't know who else. That time is oh um uh Angela Valdez's sister. Oh, pause. Yeah, so she number six. Yeah. But Paz showed up down at the jail too. I said, yeah. what you doing there, player? Yeah. I don't know. But we'll see y'all next week. Straight yeah. From me. You, you got something to say? No, I was gonna say, yeah, see y'all next week. Y'all get in the comments, let us know what y'all think about the episode. And uh we'll see y'all next week, straight from the VA. Two up. Susan, hello.